Women are not just victims of violence and inequality. Women are agents of peace and progress. In the decades since Kosovo has been an independent country, women's rights activists, many in this very room, secured meaningful progress toward achieving gender equality in the public sector and politics. After years of lobbying, you succeeded in securing reparations for victims of sexual violence during the war. And you elected your first, and now your second, female president, committed to preserving and strengthening peace, expanding economic opportunity, and proving that cooperation delivers far greater dividends than conflict. I'm pleased you will be working with the U.S. State Department and the Georgetown Institute for Women, Peace, and Security on the establishment of a regional center of excellence on women, peace, and security in Kosovo. This new development will enable you and the region to better realize the promise of the WPS framework established by the United Nations. Together, women committed to peace building lead through action, but we also lead by example. Our democracies are stronger and more sustainable when women are involved and treated as equals, and especially when women lead. But simply embracing the concept of women's rights, let alone enshrining those rights, in laws and constitutions is not the same as achieving full equality. Rights are important, but they are nothing without the power to claim and defend them.